Never avoid using the word anti-Semitism when Arabs and Arab Americans are discriminated against, uh, are arrested without charges, uh, are exposed to all kinds of smears uh, and uh, bar bars against employment uh, and all kinds of discrimination that goes on. And that is anti-Semitism. The Semitic race is, is Arabs and Jews. And the Jews do not own the phrase anti-Semitism. We had a debate, which you can see on debatingtaboos.org, and it's fulsome. We had a debate two, three years ago uh, saying, is, is anti-Semitism against Arabs worse than anti-Semitism against Jews in this country? And we had two Jews, two Arab Americans. Jack Shaheen, who's here, was one of the debaters. It was a very civil debate. And I gather from the debate that the answer was that anti-Semitism against Arab Americans is a serious problem. And of course, it's much more serious around the world. It's anti-Semitism against Arab Americans. How many times does that have to be repeated? It's accurate. Once you use, once you use that word, you have an equivalence with the other use of that word. Is anti-Semitism against Arabs? Anti-Semitism against Ar of Jews? Why ignore one to the other? As one young man in New York once told me, unprovoked, he was walking to a route. He was an Irish American. He said, look, I don't think the Irish should monopolize the word family. And I don't think the Arab, the African Americans should have a monopoly over the word slavery. And I don't think Jewish Americans should have a monopoly over the word anti-Semitism, right out of the blue. You never know where it comes from. 